honesty, in honesty, how y'all said the baby was asleep, I honestly thought the baby was, you know, supposed to be in the casket. <laughs> Got that fire, homie. I want to play some tonight before we get into the meat of everything. You just let me know if you see it. I didn't even see it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's foul because this looks like it's a young funeral or whatever, but she is literally with the business. Filter the love out on this. See, for me, I thought what we're seeing is something different, and I just didn't focus on that. Because when you think church, funeral, you don't think this. You just don't. They, yeah, the, the mom is reaching over or the auntie or whoever the, the significant other is uh, reaching over, you know, showing love with the baby's ear. Yeah, got that fire, homie. So, so go ahead and believe him, bitch. Go ahead and give, give him the fucking answer, man. Uh, it's, look, who comes to a funeral with a pistol? Y'all see that? I know y'all see that. It's right there. I know y'all see that. I thought it was a Bible that she had at first. <laughs> But I guess, I guess, I guess that uh, hey, uh, what they said, I uh, I walked through the valley of shadow of death. I should feel your evil. Yeah, it wasn't the Bible. It was my staff and my rod is beside me. You know, my staff and my gun is beside me. So that's honesty. In honesty, how y'all said the baby was asleep. I honestly thought the baby was, you know, supposed to be in the casket. I was, you know, tripped out. Too. For a I did too. I, I did was too. like, hold on, they not holding their babies. Let's let's not do this. <laughs> Like, no. <laughs> and then you kept saying, pow, pow. And I'm like, why does he keep making a Say, gun? Pow, pow. So I a, <laughs> you kept replaying it. And then I seen a wave. And I was like, oh. That <laughs> caught me off guard, man. I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to be honest with you. This is what messes me up, though. This is what fucks me up, though. If you're expecting that kind of drama, right? Which I get. Because I've heard of niggas going up there and, and disrespecting, right? But you got the baby sitting right there. Like, are you? Is it a deterrent or is it a defense or a shield? You know what I mean? Which is, that's something and, and that my, I, I didn't as a deterrent. Like, oh, yo, well, like, you don't come up here acting because you. But when niggas don't give a fuck, niggas don't give a fuck, man. In my opinion, yeah. in my opinion, I think it's due to the times. I remember watching movies and just you know word of word of mouth. The rules were you couldn't shoot up a birthday, a children's birthday party, specifically a church or a hospital. In these days and times, shoot, you can't even pump gas or even check your mail. You die or die respectfully because niggas is shooting up your, your funeral these days. They literally, you could literally be dying in a hospital and somebody will still bust the door and just make sure you get double tapped just in case. It sucks. And you, know it, I mean? like, you, can't, you can't lay your, your certain one to rest. And have uh, the peace that that you, that one would say you are. I mean, granted, if you are dead and you're in a casket, um, you are you are at peace regardless of what happens. It, it really is the ones that's surviving for you that are suffering, you know, through, yeah. through that.